For most people, this class will be their first close look at the field of engineering and what it means to become an engineer. In today's fast-paced, tech-driven society, engineers have become symbols of advancement. They have a reputation as the geniuses that hold the keys to our technological future. But what exactly is engineering? Today's lesson will answer this question and explain some of the different varieties of engineers that exist. You might just find that engineering is a little different than what you expected. Before we dig into engineering, let's get some terms straight. Science is the study of the natural world. It's investigating natural phenomena that occur around us. This is the study of the rules that make the natural universe work, and in general, these rules have nothing to do with humans. How does gravity work? How do the planets move? What are things made of? How do materials come together to make new materials? What goes on inside a cell? What about an atom? These are all natural phenomena that a scientist might study. Technology is the study of the human-made world. It deals with everything that humans design and build. This is a little different from science because technology is made for us, by us, and would not exist without us. These days, most people think of technology as computers, gadgets, electronics, and things like that. While this is true, it's only a small piece of the puzzle. Technology also includes all of our transportation systems, the structures we build, the products we design and manufacture, our medicine, and even the food we grow and eat. All of these things are constantly evolving and improving with technological innovation. Engineering is the process of designing solutions to real-world problems. It's the action of designing new technology. To do this, engineers need to have a command of math, science, and technology, and a whole list of other skills. They are the creative thinkers and problem solvers that make our most advanced technology possible. Mathematics is the discipline of using numbers and symbols to quantify information and solve problems. It's crucial to the study of science and engineering alike. Engineers rely heavily on mathematics to figure out their designs, and scientists use math to quantify and prove their observations about the natural world. In fact, the difference between a scientific theory and a scientific law is that a law can be expressed mathematically and proven to be true. You might also hear the term STEM thrown around. The acronym stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, but what it really means is the integration of these disciplines, or the way we weave them all together to solve problems. It's a fitting term, since none of these areas is very useful without the others. So what exactly do engineers do? They design new technology. They improve on existing technology by finding the flaws in a design and working to remove them. They find creative solutions to real-world problems. And they do all of this by applying their knowledge of science, technology, and mathematics. To sum it up, an engineer's job is to understand how things work and to use their imaginations to try to get things to work better. There are a lot of common misconceptions about engineers that people should understand. Here are some of the things that engineers don't do. Engineers come up with designs, but the designs are usually built by manufacturers and tradespeople. Other than bench-level prototypes, engineers don't normally spend a lot of their day doing hands-on building. Engineers are not the people who fix stuff. If you call a repair person to your house, or you bring your car into the repair center, it's not an engineer who shows up to do the fixing. A lot of kids think that engineers are the people who drive trains, and a lot of teenagers think engineers are the people who mix audio in a recording studio, but both of these professions are a little outside of what a typical engineer does. It's also important to realize that engineers are not the only designers involved with developing new technologies. Architects, industrial designers, fashion designers, interior designers, are all types of design professionals that may have no engineering background at all. It's an important part of an engineer's job to work cooperatively with other types of designers to make a project into a reality. Let's take a quick look at some of the different engineering disciplines. 
This presentation is not a deep dive into any of the specialties. It's more meant to give you a snapshot of what the different kinds of engineering are, and to get your gears turning about what type is the most interesting to you. We can start by breaking engineering down into four major categories. These big four areas of engineering are chemical, civil, electrical, and mechanical. Most other engineering disciplines are a derivative or combination or extension of one of these. Chemical engineers apply the principles of chemistry, physics, and engineering to design new chemical materials or chemical processing methods. They are responsible for new and improved products such as fuels, nuclear reactors, medicines, vaccines, plastics, and other synthetic materials and textiles. Civil engineers plan, design, and supervise the construction of facilities. This usually refers to buildings, but also includes other kinds of structures or large-scale building projects like space satellites, launch facilities, offshore structures, bridges, highways, transit systems, dams, airports, irrigation projects, tunnels, water treatment or distribution systems, and many countless others. When you look at a picture of a city, and you recognize it by its skyscrapers, bridges, or sports stadiums, try to remember that civil engineers are responsible for these structural wonders. Electrical engineers deal with the motion of electrons through metal, but the projects they undertake can vary widely from designing tiny electrical circuit boards or components, to motors or generators, or the electrical systems within buildings, and even large-scale electrical systems that generate power or carry it hundreds of miles, to homes and businesses. Mechanical engineers apply the principles of mechanics and energy to the design of machines and devices. Usually we think of this as devices with lots of moving parts, but this also includes technologies that deal with heat transfer, such as refrigeration or heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. Mechanical engineers must understand things like vibration and how it affects the function of a machine or lubrication and the interaction between small parts such as gears and bearings that come together to make a complex machine work. Besides the big four, there are numerous other types of engineering disciplines that have spun off to fill a more specific role. New specialties are always emerging to fit new, more specialized niches in the workforce. Aeronautical engineering deals with flight and the movement of fluids through the Earth's atmosphere. Aerospace engineering deals with environments not found on Earth. Agricultural engineering blends knowledge of engineering with soil systems, land management, and environmental control. Architectural engineering works with architects focusing on structural integrity and safety of design. Automotive engineers design and build all types of vehicles, not just cars and trucks. Biomedical engineering bridges engineering, physical, and life sciences in identifying and solving medical and health-related problems. Computer engineering is the design and organization of computer hardware or software. Industrial and manufacturing engineers design systems for the manufacture of products. By researching STEM careers, you can find out lots more information about these and other engineering fields. Here's a few resources to get you started. Tallow.com allows you to build a profile to showcase your experience. Colleges and employers also use Tallow to seek out people with specific skill sets. So if your profile includes technical certifications, educational experiences like this class, or skills such as proficient in video or web development, CAD design, or industrial robotics, this could help connect you with opportunities. MyNextMove.org is a great site for investigating careers to see what would be a good fit for you based on job outlook, salary, required skills, personality traits, and more. Rochester Institute of Technology also has a collection of career research sites that you can use to jumpstart your investigation into STEM careers. You can find these links in the description. Good luck!